Welcome to Train with Polar Vantage V2. In this video, we'll show you how to take the cycling performance test. The cycling test helps you keep track of your cycling performance and to define your individual power zones. The cycling test measures the highest power, weight per kilogram, you can maintain for over 60 minutes. It is also known as the Functional Threshold Power, FTP test, which measures your power in watts. You can take a shorter test, in which case we'll estimate the 60-minute result. We recommend using an indoor bike with a power sensor, but you can take the test outdoors as well. Nonetheless, a power sensor is required in both ways. First, make sure you paired your watch and power sensor. Start the cycling performance test by pressing the back button and swiping to the tests menu. Choose cycling test from the list. The about view shows a detailed breakdown of the test and instructions on performing it. Set the duration of the test 20, 30, 40, or 60 minutes. When you're ready, choose Start to see an overview of the test. The cycling test includes warm-up, test, and cool-down phases. The warm-up phase is power-based, and the cool-down phase is based on heart rate. When you're ready to start the test, choose Next. Check the questions concerning your health and accept to go to the pre-training mode. The sport profile is shown in a purple color in the test view. Choose an appropriate indoor or outdoor cycling sport profile. Start the test by tapping the display. We recommend performing the warm-up phase before the actual test. The warm-up should include easy riding and two or three fast sprints. The warm-up also allows you to check that everything works as it should and that your bike is adjusted optimally for you. When you're ready to start the actual test, tap the start button. Speed up and find the maximum power you believe you can keep up for the whole test. Pressing the back button cancels the test. The test view shows your power in watts. The red value tells your current power and the white value your estimated target power. Try to keep your pace close to the target. In the first test, we'll guide you with a power target that's based on your background information. This helps you maintain a steady power throughout the test. When you repeat the test, the target is based on your earlier results. Your target power is shown in the center of the display for the first minute. After that, the display switches to the test view. The test phase ends after the predefined time is over. Your test result is shown right after you finish the test. The test summary shows your FTP value, which shows your power in watts, your maximum heart rate, and your maximal oxygen uptake, known as VO2 max. Dividing FTP with a cyclist's weight produces a comparable value called power to weight ratio, which can be compared with other cyclists of the same sex. The more power you can produce in your current weight, the better your power to weight ratio is. In your first test, the result is compared with other cyclists of the same sex as you. When you repeat the test, the result is compared to your previous test results, and test feedback is also based on them. To get a more detailed and illustrated analysis of the test, sync your V2 with Polar Flow. In Polar Flow, you can also update your power zones and VO2 max's values to your cycling sports profiles according to the test results. By knowing your cycling zones with the highest possible precision, we can give you individualized training guidance. To help long-term follow-up, we've gathered all the test data in one place in the Polar Flow web service. In the tests page, you can see all the tests you performed and compare the results. You can see your long-term progress and easily view changes in your performance. Hope you enjoy your Polar Vantage V2 
And if you need any other information about your device, watch the other Polar Vantage V2 videos on this channel or go to our website, polar.com.